Okay, so here you go, result one. And I'm just, we're just going to go through the main results. There's a lot of interesting stuff in there, you know, at the final level in the report. But the overall, you know, incidence of poverty declined from 35% to 31%. These are two snapshots in time. You don't know what it did in between. The snapshots in time. It could have gone down further in between and it's risen again, which is what I think actually happened. And if you look at the preliminary <coughs> reports on poverty and all that, there's some macro data which I present over there which indicates that poverty was probably a bit lower in around 2006 than it is, than it is now. Next one. You must, you must distinguish between urban poverty and rural poverty. Rural poverty has increased from 40% to 43%. Go back, please. Uh, uh, and 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 rural, urban poverty has gone down because I, because of all the other other impacts, right? Now this result is, is different from that by the World Bank. The World Bank methodology appeared to show that there was no change in rural poverty, and yet you know we look at every single indicator in the rural areas. You know everybody you know would agree that rural poverty has increased. And I, I think it's, it's sometimes you've got to ask yourself when a methodology gives you results which don't match reality, you've got to question the methodology. So I, I think that the methodology that we're using over here is very, very robust, and it does give us the correct results. Now, poverty is most intense in the northern division, especially in rural north, where 50% of the people are below the poverty line. And we have talked for ages about this look north policy, but clearly the data is showing it's not working. And I think, and I'm hoping that the people who are here from the north will tell us a little bit more about how things have been, uh, how have things have been trending you know, in the north in the last you know, few years. But it is very, very clear that, that, that the northern poverty, incidence of poverty is most extreme. And of course, if you're looking at the rural western division, it is also very high at 43%. And I think those of us who understand what's been happening to the sugar industry, to the cane cutters and all that, those problems are continuing. In fact, it seems as if the problems are, are getting worse. So those numbers we've got there are probably likely to be higher you know, today <coughs> than they were in 2008 and Now, Incidence of poverty for ethnic groups, again, key political message. We talked about average household incomes before. This is incidence of poverty, percentage of the people below the poverty line. It's clear that both ethnic groups are equally poor, and both, equal, both groups are seeing the same kinds of trends in poverty. So all politicians, I mean, should just simply put out of their mind the idea that you need affirmative action for ethnic groups, you know, on poverty. You don't need it there. Now, you may need it, need it at the upper end, and that's a different issue altogether. In fact, the only gap between the major ethnic groups is right at the top, at the corporate sector, where you need affirmative action if the eat okay are going to, you know, close the gap with everybody else. And without affirmative action at the top, those gaps are not going to be closed for all kinds of very, very logical reasons. But this workshop is about poverty, so we won't talk about what's happening at the top. We might end up, we might end up in the courts on that one. What is also very, very clear on this table here, that the increase in poverty in the rural areas has affected all ethnic groups equally. I'll just make one little additional comment over here because this is a totally neglected side of ethnicity in Fiji, which is the rural other. The rural other, rural others, they have an incredibly high incidence of poverty, which is 50%, and the increase has been worse than for the other two major ethnic groups. And this rural other also includes people of Solomon Island origin who are largely landless people. Now, in Fiji, we talk quite a lot about, you know, ethnic comparisons, and we always focus on the major ethnic groups. We always tend to ignore the other groups, amongst whom are also pockets of poverty, which are far more intense than affects, you know, the two major ethnic groups. Urban poverty, of course, it has, it has uh, 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 also shown uh, the same uh, movement in the same direction. And here, of course, you can see that urban poverty for others is not only low at the beginning, only 18% compared to 28, 28, 29 percent for the two major ethnic groups, but their decline in poverty, you know, is, 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 is much less as well. It's gone from 18 percent to 16 percent. So it's relatively well off in the urban areas, but incredibly badly off in the urban 